Bro, this thing looks ridiculous right now. Okay, I know you guys are probably confused as hell. Dude, what the hell happened to the FRS? How did it go from a show car to that piece of shit right there? Let me go ahead and flash back to about a week ago. We're painting the FRS, boys. Summer is coming, so I think it's time to do a quick little color change. We've had this red for about almost three years now, and I think I'm getting a little tired of it since I did have the S14 red, the S13 red, the Evo red, and this. Let's go ahead and prep this thing for paint and get it ready to do a whole new color for the summer. a few days and we are here we got the FRS at the paint booth this is originally where I painted the FRS this little red like two three years ago and we're at the same place so let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like in here it's just your typical paint booth nothing too crazy good lighting good ventilation good vents we got paint stands and everything ready to go and then we have our little mixing area over here there you go, our little stands to mix. All of our supplies we're gonna use. Light switches, vent switches, so we're gonna be good to go. This paint job is gonna turn out freaking pristine. And I got Oscar and Michael here today to help me out. We're gonna be painting this thing over the weekend. All right, first thing we have to do before we can pull this thing in and get ready for paint is disassemble the whole car, the front bumper, fenders, and everything, and get it all washed up. The car is all cleaned up and fully disassembled. Now it's time to pull this thing into the paint shop and then get to masking this thing up. Man, this thing looks super bare, but we're gonna paint the door jams and everything. Just like that, we're good to go. We got this thing all masked up and wiped down with alcohol and waxing grease remover. So this thing is spotless clean now. Let me go ahead and show you guys the new color we're gonna be painting the FRS actually. I just picked this out at the paint shop and it's fire. PPG Omni by the way, in case you guys are wondering what kind of paint system. And the color is, drum roll please. Boom, crazy plum purple by Dodge, and this is on the newer Hellcats. It has crazy metallic flakes. Let me shine a light for you guys. Oh my God. Tell me that's not fire. Before we can go ahead and spray our base coat, we need to spray this whole thing. What the <laughs> hell are you doing, bro? <laughs> We gotta spray this whole thing in some sealer. Sealer is basically like a final coat primer that gets the car in one color so that the little white parts don't show through in the paint. And it basically covers up all the sand scratches that we still have left on the car because it's finished in 400 grit. And once we spray that, we can wait a little bit, eat some food, and then spray the purple. So let's get suited up and start painting. <laughs> Bro, look at these guys' face suit. They got freaking extra larges. <laughs>
Since we just finished spraying, the sealer is sprayed down super smooth. So now we're just gonna go ahead and let the primer sealer dry for about an hour or so. So in the meantime, we're about to go get some grub and get what? Korean barbecue. Bang, bang, bang. All you can eat, baby. Mm -mm. This is probably not gonna be a good idea <laughs> since we gotta paint right after, but fuck it. We got some time to kill. This dude right next door to the paint booth was super chill. I started chit-chatting uh, with him about painting and then he ended up having the paint gun that I really wanted, the Supernova. And he just asked if I wanted to borrow it. So that's why we got to shoot with the Supernova. Super cool, that thing lays down really flat. I'm hoping this paint job turns out even better than I thought it would be. Bro, we are about to fucking grub on this. <laughs> and it's all you can eat. That was such a bad idea. A fucking food coma. Look at that. Look, look at that. Oh! <laughs> Maybe by rubbing his belly, I'll get some good luck for this paint job, though. <laughs> okay, let's head back to the shop. All right, let's see how our sealer looks, baby. Fuck the purple. We about to go Nardo Gray. <laughs> oh, hell no. Dude, look how silky it is, though. The sealer laid super nice. Super smooth. Look at that. Oh my god, I'm so hyped for this. No drips. Check out the hood. No drips, no drips, no drips. <laughs> Other fender. Looks good as well. Alright, let's get to mixing this purple and then we can get right to spraying it. This time, I'm gonna slap you guys on my GoPro so we can do a point of view perspective. Shining bright, my friends are in the club, we'll go all night. I see you in the back, the mood is right. If I just had your number, I would let you know how I feel You walk up to me, stop dancing to the music and the chase Like this was meant to be, you take my hand I feel my heart beating, I don't want this moment to stop of clear we got the purple laid down this base coat was probably one of the worst base coats I've ever used this thing did not want to cover at all I had to nuke it in base coat but finally it's done 
and it looks so freaking good dude this color complements the kit so much look at the fenders y'all see the body lines on the fenders freaking mint and this is before clear this is just base coat so we still need to spray our clear coat and get this thing looking glossy we're making really good time right now we got here at like 1 or 2 p.m. It's currently 10 p.m. But all we have to do left is spray the clear coat and then we should be done with spraying all these parts. Last time I painted the car here, I think we didn't spray clear until 7 in the morning. <laughs> and we got here at the same time too. So we're making good progress. I'm hyped. Let's get the clear all mixed up and start spraying the glass. Just like that, we sprayed two coats of clear all over the FRS. But it's getting pretty late now. I think it's like midnight, which is the fastest I've ever finished painting a full car. So we made record time, but I think we're gonna head on home now, wait for this to dry overnight, and then we'll come back and see how this thing looks. All right, I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Peace out. Good morning, guys. Oh, this is just trash. It's now the <laughs> next day. Oh we're... my God, what the fuck is with the Diet Coke? Yeah, tell the girls. Oh. We're starting our day off with freaking McDonald's. I haven't had McDonald's in like probably a year. I've been eating super healthy. So it's kind of it's kind of nice to eat McDonald's again. But I got a sausage egg McGriddle, some hash browns, and Michael, the Diet Coke, absolutely Disgusting. horrendous. Disgusting! Horrendous. How the fuck do you fuck up Diet Coke? It just tastes like sparkling water. <laughs> yeah, bro, I tried this. This is not it. All right, we're going to kill this food, head to the shop, Check out the car, pull it out in the sun, and see how it sparkles, man. I'm so excited. Last night we kind of rushed getting home, so I couldn't like admire the car. I'm pretty hyped to see it. All right, boys, moment of truth. I'm so hyped to see this thing. Oh shit! Oh my god, it's just as good as I remembered. Look at that glass, baby. This is straight off the gun. Roof looking good, 
Fender's looking good. Dude, I think we're ready to pull this thing out in the sun. Look at this reflection. <laughs> Dude, we killed it, y'all. We absolutely killed it. Keep the door jams, too. We got this bitch looking super glossy. Looks crazy, oh dude. Oh my god! Looks crazy. <laughs> Bro, look at the metallics. Dude, this thing is glistening. Oh my god, dude, it looks crazy from this angle. Oh my god. We definitely picked the right choice, guys. This purple was definitely the move. Dude, and we did so good too. Look at that reflection. Hey, can y'all see it yet? Purple with the white wheels. <laughs> it's about to go hard. I'm hard. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> All right, boys. In the meantime, while I'm painting the other parts in the paint booth, I'm not going to film that because we basically filmed the whole painting process with this already. So we're going to go ahead and start assembling the car while every single coat is drying in the booth so we can make use of our time. Now we'll finally get to see what this thing will start to look like. Oscar and Michael went ahead and assembled most of the car for me. All the parts that aren't in the booth right now is on the car, including the freaking seals and all that. They did a great job with this. I came out, I didn't expect them to be done, but look at that. Seals are on. Where Gucci even got the side mirrors and everything. So the game plan for today is since the parts is still drying and I rented the booth for the weekend, so we have to have all the parts out. I'm gonna call a tow truck, get this thing towed home, and then let the stuff in the booth dry for about four to five hours, and then we're gonna haul that home ourselves. So that way we don't have to slap it on the car and risk damaging the parts or the paint. So right now we're about to go get some food and then call a tow truck and then we'll be right back when the tow truck can come and pick this thing up. Thankfully it doesn't have the front bumper or the rear bumper so they should be able to tow this thing pretty easily. Tow truck just pulled up so we can finally get this thing heading on home. Hey yo, free junk car removal, is that what we're doing today? <laughs> and off she goes. Say goodbye boys. Damn, bro, my car gets treated too well. It gets a new paint job and it gets a tow home. <laughs> what the heck? Let's check out the parts inside the booth. So yesterday we sprayed like 75% of our base coat. So we were kind of restricted on, on how much paint we had today. So I'm a little scared that the paint on the kit doesn't match the rest of the car. Before the tow truck showed up, I took out that piece that we painted yesterday and we're gonna compare it to the piece inside the paint booth right now. Hopefully crossing my fingers that it matches. Oh yeah, for sure. Ah uh, yeah, Look we're that. golden. That's crazy because this, we were only able to do two and a half coats and that we did three and a half coats. I've low-key been shitting my pants this whole time thinking that these were gonna be a lot lighter. No, you're big. We went ahead and let this dry for how long? Three, four hours? Three and a half hours. Yeah, three and a half hours and I think it should be dry enough to transport now because it's pretty freaking hard. So hopefully we don't damage it during transport. It's 9 p.m. <laughs> we just wanna go home so I think it's time to throw these in the truck and see how many parts we can actually fit in it so we don't have to do that many runs. All right, boys, we finally hauled all the parts and the car back to my house. Dude, it's been a great weekend. I'm fucking beat. Michael's beat. No, I'm excited, bro. Oscar. Oh, well, Oscar's about to leave. Dude, huge shout out to Michael and Oscar for coming along with me this weekend. Without them, this would not have been possible. They helped me grind through everything, masking the car, wiping down the car, Keeping me company, that's the best part because when you're working on your car by yourself, bro, it gets a little lonely, so it's nice to have some homies you can rely on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of us just hanging out, kicking it, and painting these parts. This was a really chill little paint session because every time I painted a car before, I felt rushed. I felt like everything needed to be perfect, but this time, I told myself, fuck it. This was just purely for fun and basically to enjoy the time with my homies. And surprisingly, everything turned out better, more fun, and faster than whenever we chose to chase perfection. So this is a reminder that working on your cars 
can be fun too. Just don't make it to the point where you think everything has to be perfect because then it's probably gonna end up being a chore rather than a fun session. So next video, we're definitely gonna be assembling the FRS and seeing how this thing looks. I think we did pretty good, Michael. What, what you think? I think we did an amazing job. You know, we spent how many hours? 10, 20, 60? I have no idea, but it, like probably at least 10 each day. Yeah, we did a great job. You did you did an amazing job, dude. Bro, you guys did an even better job with the paint prep because uh, prepping is everything. And look at this. We didn't have a single spot where it had like a chemical reaction from bad cleaning or anything. Yeah. So, pretty A1. Yeah, you know, if you want to help out Derek, it's free labor. It's not paying <laughs> us anything. We're doing this with the kindness of our hearts. But, you know... Great car, I'm excited to be a part of the next project. Those are some real homies right there. <laughs> All right, y'all, until next time, peace out.